Hi everyone, this is Dr. Kim, America's Holistic Foot Doctor. In this video, you meet my patient who has not seen me for several months now due to taking care of her son who just had hip surgery. Let's see how I can cut her thick nails. To work. He's going back in September the 16th. Oh, okay. Yeah. Couple of weeks, man. Couple of weeks. Yeah, now. yeah. Wow. How long was he off? He was off since May the 13th. Oh. So May, June, July, August, September. Mm. Four months. Yeah. Just tell me, her son had uh, hip surgery, huh? Yeah, total hip replacement. Wow. Yes. Just one side? One side, he's uh, 56. Oh. The other side was okay? The other side was okay. Really? Yeah. Oh. But he healed. Quickly? On the third week, uh -huh. let's see. He was already walking without the walker. Really? Oh, okay. Yeah. You know, he used it, but the doctor told him he had to walk. Yeah, you have to keep moving, yeah? You have to keep moving, yes. Yeah. Did you say was it was painful? Never complained, you know. He thought yeah, that probably time, huh? pain medication, but never complained. Yeah. They have a new uh, way of doing hip surgery now. They don't go from the side, they go from the front. Have you heard of that? I heard it from one of his friends, and uh, she had a total hip replacement on the right mm -hmm. and she just had the total hip replacement on the left and she said to ask the doctor to go in through the front yeah it's a lot less painful and it's a lot quicker surgery mm -hmm. I remember when I was in training years ago I was in a orthopedic rotation and I saw the hip replacement for the first time. Oh, I almost fainted. Oh. <laughs> yeah, because they had to go through all the muscles and all the structures oh. from the side. Oh, that was a very big surgery. So I said, oh, I, I never want to want that surgery for me, right? Because it was just crazy. Yeah. But, but when I heard the front um, new way of doing it, it's a lot less invasive and a lot quicker and less painful. Apparently. Yeah, they did it right here. Right in, in the front, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think that's where they did it. Yeah, that's a new way of doing it, and that's, that's a huge improvement because when I saw that surgery for the first time, I just said, oh my God, that's, that's going to be painful after the surgery, you know? I was so stressed, but, you know. Yeah. I prepared him the all natural, natural fruits and vegetables. Really? Wow. Yeah, I did, I did the... That's why you the, recover quickly. His, his mom for the rescue, right? Yeah, I bought a whole bunch of stuff. Yeah? Like, you know, going to the store back and forth. Oh, really? You know, and Feeding cooking. him all the cooking, all the good stuff, huh? Well, and a lot of fruit, organic oatmeal. You know, really? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So, unfortunately, when people have surgery, when they recover, they don't really take care of themselves too well, you know? Like, you need you know, good homemade cooking, you know? A lot of nutrition, right? To heal the area, but a lot of people don't do that. Right. So I think uh, with your help, he was able to recover quickly, which I really recommend for a lot of my patients too, you know? Just to eat right and do the right thing, especially after surgery, because you, got, you need a lot of good materials to heal the area, you know? But a lot of people are not doing it. They have to lose weight before they have surgery. They have to lose weight. Oh, yeah. yeah. And then also, even after surgery, they have to maintain, maintain the weight, huh? The weight. Yeah. Mm -hmm. right. And the doctor doesn't do surgery until they lose a certain amount of weight, right? Well, they have to, yeah. Wow. Did he have to lose weight or no? He was okay. Well, he had to lose weight. Right. Oh, it, oh, did yeah. it? So he was waiting for it? No, no, he had already been uh, losing weight. Losing weight, yeah. Uh huh. Well, I think like twelve pounds before. Oh, really? Yeah, he's six feet tall. Uh huh. But still, you know, the the weight puts a lot of pressure on your body. Yeah, especially all the weight bearing joints. You know, your feet and your ankles and your knees and your hips. You know. That's a lot of pressure there.
Hi, it's me again. Hope you've been enjoying this video so far. If you have, leave the word hip surgery in the comments below and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I know, huh? Yeah. yeah. I hear you. So thank God he had really good nutrition through mom. Yeah, right. Right. Yeah. They said the heat wave coming this weekend. Is that we hit today? Oh, today, today. Oh, really? Today. Yeah. And so Sunday and Monday is going to be 85 degrees. Oh, really? So it's cooling down a little? Yeah. 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 I just got a notice too of my son's soccer games being canceled this weekend. Your what? My son's soccer games are being canceled. Oh, because yeah. it's just heat wave, too, too hot. Yeah. Too hot for the kids to play, you know? We don't want them passing out heat with a heat stroke. Yeah, they're all of that now. Yeah. Is it high school? No, he's in middle school. Oh, yeah. yeah. But he's a teenager, you see. Teenagers know it all. Yeah. You know? You remember those days? Raising teenagers? Yeah, okay. Yeah. It's, it's my parents are strict, so... Uh-huh. You still think you know it all. <laughs> yep. Don't worry, sound doesn't get to me about an adult. Yeah. But the teenage years are pretty tough, you know? The teenage years. Yeah. Wait until they become adults. Huh? Wait until they become adults. Really? They're different problems, huh? And then you start getting gray hairs. Yep. You got it. You're, you're never done though, huh? Never, never. You're never done. Different challenges in different times. You know? So I haven't seen you in a while, so the nail is pretty, yeah, pretty long. And a lot of people with the fungus in their nails, they give it to their skin, so the skin problem it doesn't go away, so we have to treat both, you know, not only the nails, but also have to treat the skin. So I'll give you new medication okay. for the um, skin as well, because your skin's really dry now. It's very dry. Yeah. And so. then I need some uh, nail polish. Oh, the medication? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Okay, we'll give you those and give you, give you some uh, skin fungus uh, medication too. You have other kids too, right, don't you? I have a daughter. Oh, okay. Daughter, yeah, she's six and five. Oh, okay. So oh, you got them back to back, huh? Well, we One year apart? I was very young, two years apart, almost oh. two years apart. Oh, I see. I was very young and I had them. I had my son when I was 20. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, back then that was normal, no? Yeah, back then it was normal. People had two kids then. Uh -huh. Everybody's having two kids. Back then, huh? How do you like it? Look better? Yes, a lot better. Yeah. All right, yeah, so we'll give you a new medicine. Okay, thank you for allowing us to film you today, okay? Okay. okay. Thank you for watching this video. As you can see in this video, fungal nails can become very thick and painful if you don't take care of them for a while. You cannot neglect these fungal nails because they get very, very painful if you get thick. Until then, be educated, get empowered, encourage others today.